Halo manusia-manusia berbudaya jagat, ketemu lagi sama Pak Dido Santoso dari Jagat Play. Hari ini kita punya video istimewa. Pada saat lalu, video ini seharusnya PC Game Pass dari Microsoft udah keluar di Indonesia secara resmi. Dan lu udah dapat uh, harga yang pasti untuk 3 bulan pertama langganan. Nah, kita berkesempatan untuk langsung wawancara dengan uh, Lead Business Xbox Asia. Uh, namanya Jeremy Hinton. Kita ngobrolin banyak soal PC Game Pass. Kenapa baru nyampe di Indonesia sekarang. Kenapa sama ini Xbox uh, fokusnya cuma di Singapura. Terus kira-kira apakah ada pembayaran uh, metode pembayaran baru gitu di Indonesia karena kita tahu saat ini PC Game Pass cuma terima kartu kredit doang dan kita juga bahas soal sedikit soal pembajakan. Nah, uh, seharusnya lu bisa akses bahasa Indonesia via bagian CC di video ini. Jadi semoga sudah ada translasinya. Jadi lu bisa nikmatin itu dan mahamin kira-kira wawancara kita kayak gimana. Silakan. Okay, um, I'll start with my first question. Um, you know, Xbox do have a presence in Southeast Asia market for more than a decade, but it's only for Singaporean market only. Uh, but you guys decided to, you know, open up to five more countries this year. Uh, my first question is, uh, why now? And why it took so long to, you know, at least give attention to these five countries that has a huge population in itself? That's it. Yeah, so um, I think um, we're really excited that um, as of tomorrow, um, our PC Game Pass will be uh, broadly available to everyone um, in, in Indonesia, as well as um, uh, Malaysia, Philippines, Thailand, and, and Vietnam. Um, and, um, and we are uh, excited that we're finally able to bring um, uh, the service to, to more markets outside of perhaps the, the traditional markets that, that have been supported. Um, it, it does align with our, our goal to bring, you know, the joy of gaming to 3 billion players on the planet. Um, and certainly uh, when you look at 3 billion players on the planet, you absolutely see that there's a, a, a huge number of those in Southeast Asia, in Indonesia. Um, and that was definitely recognized as a, a, a huge gap on, on our part. Um, and so although the last few years the team have really focused on, you know, building a quality PC gaming subscription in, in PC Game Pass, um, so both the catalogue as well as, um, you know, the app that, that plays access the content through. Um, so now we have an opportunity to finally, you know, bring that to more players. Um, and our first stop was absolutely Southeast Asia because we certainly, we've heard the feedback from, from you folks in, in Indonesia and other markets. And um, and we know that um, there's a huge appetite um, and a huge number of PC gamers in particular in, in this part of the world um, that we absolutely felt that um, a gaming subscription, bringing, you know, hundreds of games, you know, our, our Microsoft Studios games, day one, Bethesda titles, um, the EA Play service, um, all for, you know, one low monthly cost, um, as we thought a, a huge opportunity in the region. So we're excited to, to finally be able to um, to deliver that from tomorrow. I see. Uh, talking about the cost, uh, the price is, uh, I would say, really competitive and mm -hmm. considered even cheap in Indonesia. Uh, how do you guys decide, uh, you know, this is the price range that we will offer? You know, it's quite huge difference uh, compared to like Singaporean uh, counterpart price, for example. Uh, how do you guys uh, decide it at the price? Yeah, so a few things on the price. So um, so we will launch um, a one month subscription will be 49,999 um, rupiah um, available from, from tomorrow. But we will also have a, a an introductory offer that will be three months, um, a three month subscription for the price of only 14,999. Mm. So like a special introductory offer to, to welcome people in so they can try the service um, uh, for a three month period at a, a much reduced cost. Um, and really, I mean, this is one of the areas where uh, perhaps Southeast Asia does benefit from being, you know, slightly later, because I think we also, the further we get here, the, the hopefully the, the more we learn um, and the more we listen, um, and certainly understanding that um, uh, consumers value entertainment subscriptions at, at, you know, different levels in different markets. And certainly there are entertainment services that have come before us that have probably set the standard of what those expectations mm. are as well. So we're now to a point, you know, um, with these markets that we're expanding to where we're really focused on what's the right price for this individual country. 
uh, and how do we best meet those player needs in that country rather than a, a, a standard, you know, it's $10 in the US, so it's $10 everywhere. So we're really trying to, to listen and be more kind of focused to local players. Yeah, I love that. Uh, okay, uh, a little bit of story. So um, I've spoken with, you know, a Microsoft representative like eight years ago, mm -hmm. uh, why, you know, Xbox never came to Indonesia, like officially, while your competitor like PlayStation is already developing the market since eight years ago. And the answer that he gave is piracy. So uh, Indonesia and Southeast Asia market is, you know, well known for, you know, a huge piracy um, and that impact for some reason uh, xbox officially came into our countries um my question is do the perception still uh, hanging in microsoft team like today or you know the, the the benefit is more better than you know fight the piracy itself like uh how do microsoft see piracy in in this country especially in indonesia right now Look, I mean, I can't, I can't speak for what anyone said kind of eight years ago, but I can tell you, <laughs> um, my my perspective is certainly that um, the the best possible alternative to piracy is um, enabling a great price, a, a great product at the right price. That is that is kind of my fundamental. I think if you offer consumers choice of um, a great service, um, a ton of games at a really competitive local price. I think a lot of people choose that because it's it's easier to get, um, it's more accessible, um, uh, and there's kind of, you know, you know that they're genuine products. You're not going to be kicked off servers into the future, et cetera, or, you know, have your account banned or money spent, you know, um, um, deleted, et cetera. Um, so I think, you know, we, we do definitely believe that um, uh, three billion players um, on the planet um, means that we need to, uh, you know, really be meeting uh, consumers' needs in more places with more products. Um, and so that absolutely includes um, Indonesia um, in terms of a, a focus. It's it's clear that there's a huge audience in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. They're huge huge fans of of, of games across platforms. Um, and we're just excited to be able to start with PC gaming uh, and PC Game Pass here uh, tomorrow. Uh, is there any reason why do you guys start with PC Game Pass while you know Xbox Game Pass is much more popular outside region? Yeah, I, I mean honestly, it's um, the number of PC PC players in in this part of the world is is very significant. Um, so we see you know through Southeast Asia we see 122 million you know um, PC players. Which is a phenomenal, phenomenal number. Um, so uh, we see a, a, a huge um, a level of interest as well with uh, the games that we released on, on that we release our first party games on Steam through the region also. So we certainly saw that there was very strong leading indicators that uh, this was absolutely the right time to start expanding our product range in um, in this part of the world. Um, and certainly, you know, we've just we've just had a couple of weeks of um, uh, insider preview testing um, mm. of the service, and um, and the response has been phenomenal as well. So, you know, a huge number of people coming in through that um, uh, through that insider's preview, even though you need to jump through a few hoops in order to be able to do that. But uh, we saw a huge huge response, which um, which is fantastic to see in the early days of testing. So, uh, speaking about PC Game Pass in Indonesia, is there uh, any plan to you know implement more payment options since most of Indonesian gamers don't, doesn't have, you know, credit card in the future. Yeah, it, it's definitely feedback that we've heard. Um, we've heard loudly from um, uh, the community as we went through the preview process. So certainly uh, when we do launch, um, you will only be able to subscribe with a credit card or a PayPal account. Mm. But a, a key area of focus for us is working with uh, local e-distributors and retailers to make uh, gift card purchases available with your you know, preferred uh, payment method of, of choice. So that is absolutely our, our key focus now, now that we'll get to uh, day one tomorrow. Is there any exact window that we can anticipate for that plan? I, I would say in, in the coming months. In the coming, in the coming months. months. Oh, okay, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Great. Um, I'm quite curious, like with PC Gaming Pass uh, finally came to these five countries, what is the short-term plan and the long-term plan for Xbox Asia? Like, uh, are we going to see more support like slowly Xbox 
Game Pass and then uh, hardware officially launch here and more support in the future? Or this is only, you know, this is Game Pass only? Yeah, well, I mean, um, all all we're announcing today is is Game Pass for PC, um, PC Game Pass. Um, but clearly, um, we we do want to offer more products and services to to um, anyone that wants to play around the world. Um, and I think um, you know we, I think a um, you know we will take feedback from both the community um, in terms of you know the the games that they're enjoying, the products and services that they're they're playing, etc. And then absolutely, we'll continue to to listen and um, and meet those needs uh, where we can. But um, but today we're excited to have PC Game Pass coming to Indonesia. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, thank you. So there is no. So from your statement, I can say that there is no exact plan to at least uh, provide Xbox Series uh, officially here in Indonesia. Like no plan at all. Or there is something that. You know, you guys are cooking right now. I'd say all we're talking about today is PC Game Pass <laughs> launching in Indonesia, and and that's very exciting for us. Okay, 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 got it. Uh, so uh, there's there's a one huge problem, at least from your competitor uh, services, that some region sometimes doesn't uh, you know get the same game from the other region because mm -hmm. of license problem. Uh, do you think that PC Game Pass, at least in Southeast Asia region, will you know, in the future, we'll get the same problem or you guys are going to fight to make sure that the game will be equal between regions? Yeah, so, so certainly um, there are considerations with um, uh, license rights of specific content holders where they, they may or may not have to exclude certain regions. Um, and, um, and that will occur from time to time with specific pieces of content. But on, on the whole, like, there's a... It's only a very small number of titles that are is impacting our total catalog, um, which now is you know is hundreds of titles uh, on PC Game Pass. Um, so so yes, that will still happen from time to time, but at least our experience so far is it's a very small number of titles. Also, so there will be there will be a difference between the region. Y yeah, from time to time there will be, um, but at least so far for for launch, it's only a very small number that we're seeing right now. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay. Um... I don't have and, more and questions. In general, oh, yeah. By the way, in general, we also try and work with publishers or developers to remove roadblocks if possible to make sure that titles can be um, available globally. Oh, okay, so you guys are working on it, right? So yeah, I I don't have more much more question about the PC Game Pass. Um, I will just end the interview. But do you have any message to uh, Xbox fans in Indonesia? At yeah, least for I mean, PC Game Pass. I'd say we're we're just super excited for. Um, I know there's a, a community already there that um, you know probably um, uh, we've made challenging to to you know play our products and services. So we're really excited um, about this this next step in our journey, enabling PC Game Pass um, and bringing that service to market. Um, you know we hope that that gamers in Indonesia really really embrace it. You know take up our introductory offer. It's a great way to get in and. For a, you know one low monthly introductory cost, um, you can really try the the hundreds of games in the service, um, and um, and know that you know we're really um, listening to the community, and and we are um, looking for feedback to to continue to to grow um, uh, our Xbox community uh, in Indonesia. Absolutely. So we appreciate we appreciate any uh, any and all fans in Indonesia. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Great. Nice to meet you. I appreciate it. Oke okay guys, kira-kira itu wawancara kita bareng Jeremy Hinton. Kita ngobrolin banyak hal, ada banyak informasi juga yang kita dapetin. Termasuk memang ada rencana buat nambahin uh, opsi pembayaran dalam beberapa bulan ke depan. Uh, yang kayaknya bakal masuk dalam bentuk gift card, jadi bisa lo beli. Terus ya, kita juga ngobrolin soal kenapa uh, mereka akhirnya masuk ke pasar kita yang memang mereka sebut sebagai potensial. Karena ada sekitar... 120 juta uh, pemain PC gitu. Nah dengan demikian uh, lu udah bisa akses PC Game Pass sekarang uh, dengan membayar sekitar puluhan ribu rupiah di tiga bulan pertama buat nikmatin sekitar ratusan game original PC dari yang kelas AAA sampai yang indie. Kita ngobrolin soal game Microsoft First Party kayak Halo Infinite, uh, Age of Empires sempat, Flight Simulator, terus ada game EA juga EA Play di situ, terus ada game Square Enix kayak Guardians of the Galaxy. 
sama uh, banyak lagi gitu termasuk Yakuza Like a Dragon juga. Jadi uh, dengan hanya bayar ini, bayar puluhan ribu aja lu bisa akses ke library banyak banget gitu dan menurut gua sejauh dari yang apa yang kita wawancara bareng Jeremy Hinton kayaknya juga uh, ini akan jadi perluasan pasar baru yang mereka belum pernah explore sebelumnya. Kira-kira kayak gitu. Oke, okay, so, uh, thank you untuk uh, videonya. Semoga kita bisa ketemu lagi di video selanjutnya. Bye-bye. Dadah.